Welcome to NetSuite's demonstration of planning, budgeting, and monitoring costs for internal IT projects. I am logged in as my default project manager role. I can see insights into my projects right from my dashboard. This portlet shows information around the internal projects that I manage, like budget, costs, and other key metrics related to each project. At a glance, I can see the progress of my internal projects. And if I'd like to dive deeper, I can click into the project for more information. Here, I see my project plan, which shows who is assigned to complete the work and the amount of hours planned per person. I can also see the estimated cost to complete this work, which the system calculates automatically by multiplying the hours planned by the hourly cost of each user. I can see that the work for my internal project is assigned to both my full-time employees, like Abby, as well as third-party contractors, like John. The assignment here allows both internal and external resources to track time to my project. If I want to see our budget per category, like time versus expense, I'll use the WBS feature within the Work Breakdown Structure tab. Here, we see a breakdown of our actual costs compared to our budgeted costs in the Estimate to Complete column. The budgeted costs can be set manually per category or calculated based on items or project resources. Since this is an internal project, there will not be revenue or profit associated. However, I still need to track budgeting costs and current forecasting. I have spent some time building out this project plan. And now, since I am also working on this project, I'm going to track my time for this activity. I am navigating to my timesheet, which is already open in another tab. Within my timesheet, I select my project and task that I worked on along with the number of hours that I have completed. After my timesheet is approved, the cost associated with my hours will update within our reporting engine. I will open a report now to review this information. This report shows my total costs and actual costs, as well as any committed costs, which are costs tracked in the system, but not yet translated to actual costs like time entries that have yet to be submitted. This provides me with a real-time understanding of all costs associated with my project. The report is further broken down by cost categories, such as expenses for expense reports tracked to the project, services for time entries, and asset for any purchases associated with it. If I drill into any of these cells, I can see the individual transactions that make up the cost, like each time entry that was submitted against the project, shown here. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.